Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about how can we model the simple exercise inside on shape. So let's get right into it. Before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to be a part of the conversation. Thank you. And let me just do one thing. Uh, all right. I'll go for on shape and create a new document. Assign the proper name and create the file. Okay. If you need the dimension, take a screenshot and these are the right dimensions. First we will make the base plane 130 plus 40, 170 and that's what becomes 80. 170 by 80, I will sketch on this top surface, make it normal, switch off the datum planes by press the P and I will go for the center point rectangle, draw a rectangle like this, this becomes 170 and this side becomes 80 I'll hit OK right click and go for the isometry I'll go for extrude select the region and define it 20 hit enter and OK again go for the isometry it will automatically fit itself now again I will add uh, this portion 80 by 80 100 minus 20 and this becomes 80 for that, I'll choose this top surface, sketch on it, and make it normal. Now I'll go for the corner rectangle, starting from somewhere here, like this, and I will dimension it. This becomes 80, and I will hit OK. Right click and go for the isometric. Again, I will go for extrude and define extrude height 80, and I will hit OK. Now we'll create these two cutouts these perpendicular two cutouts of 38 by 40 so first I will create 38 and the depth is 20 38 by 20 sketch on this plane and make it normal I'll go for the corner point rectangle starting from somewhere here I'll go for smart dimension this side becomes 38 and this side becomes 20 I'll add a point somewhere here and I will dimension it from this point till here this is 40 and I will hit OK right click and go for the isometric again extrude remove the material and select through all ok I will create this cutout 40 by 48 I will choose this face sketch on it and make it normal go for the corner point rectangle And this becomes 40 and this side becomes 48 I'll add a point somewhere somewhere here like this and I'll smart dimension it and this becomes 40 I'll hit OK, right click and go for isometry and again I will remove the material and through all OK this is ready right now and again I will create this cutout a 48 by 44 and I will sketch on it and make it normal go for the corner point rectangle somewhere here and this is 44 and this is 48 and the distance from here till here is 15 and I'll hit OK right click and go for isometry and I will remove the material and through all OK now I will apply some rounds and if you look at this round, this becomes 40. So for that, I will define 40, press enter. And now I will choose this edge and this edge. Okay, right click and go for the isometry. Again, I will go for this round of 24. Go for the fillet. Define 24. Hit enter, rotate your object. And choose this edge. Okay right click and go for the isometry 
Now the only thing is remaining this rib and this cutout. For this cutout, I will choose this face, make it normal. Draw a circle somewhere here. Go for the concentric mate. Choose this circle and this circle. Now go for smart dimension. And the diameter becomes 40. I will hit OK, right click and go for isometry. Now remove the material and choose through all. OK. Now this cutout is ready. The only thing is just remaining this rib of thickness 10, 24, and this side becomes uh, 23 or something. Let me just calculate it now. I will just switch off, switch on my datum planes. Switch on the datum planes. Choose this front plane, sketch on it, and make it normal. I'll go for a line starting from somewhere here, like this, this. And this now we'll go for the coincident mate choose this point and this line now this point and this line now it gets horizontal I will define it 25 and let me just go for this one is 20 32 okay so right click and go for the isometry switch off the datum planes by press P button and the keyboard and now I'll go for extrude select the region choose symmetry and define it I'll hit ok right so your object is ready thanks for watching and for the most interesting tutorials make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel learn with Vasif to get uh, tutorials about the CAD game, CAE CNC manufacturing and production automation. Thanks for watching.